morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back finally to Life is Strange. I made the mistake the last time when I played episode one to not say at the end of the episode that the second one wasn't out yet. People were freaking out ever since I played the first one, which is a month ago at this stage. They kept asking me day after day after day when I was going to play the second episode because I left it so long, but it wasn't out yet. It's only after coming out today and I was sitting here, I had, it's 1am now and I didn't record anything for like the next day and I was like, oh. Oh crap, what am I gonna record? And then by just random chance, I went on Steam and this game updated like after it turned 1 a.m. It just updated, so I guess I have my game to play. But yeah, it didn't come out until today, the 24th. Well, hopefully by the time this goes up, it's gonna take forever to record and it's gonna be a very long night, but like last time, I'm gonna do this all in one episode because people seem to really like that last time. It was two hours last time. Hopefully it's not that long or I'll try and like speed up certain parts for that because that was very, very long for an episode of a game and I'll try and stop talking as soon as possible. But yeah, it wasn't out, so please, the next one is not gonna be out until the next month. So this is gonna be like the Walking Dead type of thing. It's gonna be an episode per month or every two months or whatever they release it. So just relax. Sit down, relax, snuggle up in your blankets in bed, whatever the hell you want to do, grab some popcorn, grab some friends, grab some drinks, let's get right into this and play episode 2 which is called Out of Time and hopefully it gives us like a rundown of what happened last time just for people to remember because I kind of forget some parts myself but we met up with Chloe and we went off and- the previous episode of Life is Strange. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. Thank you. It's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. <laughs> I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. And start from the beginning. Yeah, so a lot of shit went down. Chloe was going to get shot, but we saved her because we have time controlling powers. Life is Strange is a story based in game that features player choice, consequences of all your game, game actions and decisions will impact the past, present and future. Choose wisely. Hopefully that actually means something this time. Because the Walking Dead games and like the Wolf Among Us, all that kind of stuff doesn't really mean much. It's like, ooh, choices. But no. Snooze. Turn, shut up phone. I hate waking up. Yeah! Square Enix presents Life is Strange Episode 2 Out of Time! Wait, what's my name again? Max? <laughs> it's bad that I kind of forget her name already. Jeez, I. See, I, I'm bad at like protagonist names. I'm usually like the ancillary characters' names, like Chloe and Warren and Douchebag McGee who tried to shoot Chloe. Wait. Did I get the names wrong? I'm bad at names, sorry. Is this my room? This is a mess. You got it? Actually... <laughs> I'm not one to talk. <laughs> Out of time. Let's do this. Am I sleeping in my undies? No, just shorts. Okay, fair enough. Look at that cutie little shirt. It's got chickens on it. Wake up. Space get up. <laughs> That's what astronauts do. They space get up. <laughs> so what's going on? Being a superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. Ah, oh, you're not gonna have a shower scene like beyond two souls, are you? Look. I'm trying. I forget how this shit works again. Look. I'm trying to look. Oh! Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Sorry. Yeah, you, you click on the thing, and I, 
they, they lay it out wrong because it makes it look like you have to like copy the trajectory but and I was like going look but what you do is just go up to look I'll miss going to the games with my dad ah no go Thunderbird it's just like Twilight take a selfie I'm gonna play a game but no, first take let me take a face. selfie oh I hope you're gonna put on X Pro 2 filter on that on Instagram actually Instagram doesn't exist in this world um, use my laptop. Watch all of that porn. Is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Warren, I'm not reading all of your shit. Um. This is so insane. It sounds logical to me. Join the Chrono Nuts again. There's a lot of bulk in these games, and for the sake of a video, I'm I'm going to be reading just the very very important stuff. If you want to read these things, you're probably going to have to pause the screen because I want to like keep the episode moving instead of like stopping and reading every single thing because then it's not going to be possible to put it all into one episode. Total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about wormholes. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Stop monologuing! <laughs> I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Probably not, because nobody ever anywhere in the existence of everything has ever been able to do this. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Is that her dad? I didn't know Cinnamon Toast Ken was her father. Look at that sexy beard. That was a good hockey game, and a great fight. See, you have to put braces on the characters to to really solidify the fact that she's younger there. She's a teenager. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. A Fremont Troll? <laughs> right, should we go take a shower? Yeah, let's go take a shower. Timetable, the mirror. Let's use the mirror. How dirty are we? Oh. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. <laughs> this is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Nobody talks like that, Max. Yeah, it was Max. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Supplies, motherfuckers. Shower supplies. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Yes, let's do that thing. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Yeah. Thanks, Sherry. Jeez. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Victoria! Why are you such a bitch? Hello? Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine. Asshole. Bored. Yeah, I'm a little bit. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I really like this game as well. I'm, I'm really glad people like the first one. It was such a gamble to actually play it because, like, I had nothing else to play and I was like, let's play this. People might like this. It said, we'll bang for Jesus. So I'm gonna get rid of that, and I'm not knocking on people's rooms. Ow! Who did that? Is that the girl who got hit with the ball outside before? I feel so bad for the people. Toilet paper. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. I could! Let's do that thing! I remember how to do it. There we go. Warn. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay Max, if that makes you happy. Oh, ho Dodged wow. it! Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. Oh, that was close. I'm really glad that I dodged that toilet paper. <laughs> this action will have consequences. I see where they show the butterfly as well. The butterfly effect. It's a weird ass poster. Is that actually like that or is it just highlighting it? Or am I just tripping balls? Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. It also needs realism. It looks like a painting rather than a picture. Because we're in photography school, remember. Missing person supposed to Rachel Amber is missing. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. Um, where are the showers? Hello, sexy mama. Stomp them, Bigfoots. You know what? Let's just take our shirts off. Let's just go crazy. Actually, I forget what age you're all supposed to be. Are you of, uh, of consent? You're in college, so I'd assume so. Hi, Dana. Can I not dance with you? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. 
That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Coming to the party or nah? I ain't going to the fucking party. I'm gonna go and get shit-faced. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a raid. Oh god. It does sound like fun. <laughs> now I have to go contemplate my party future. What's there to contemplate? Contraceptive pills. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Are those M&Ms? <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Okay, that's a bit mean. Are those Pringles? No, they're different ones. Okay, where the hell are these showers? I need to go get the smell of ass off me. Brooke and Juliet. Oh, hey. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Um, Kate's hot video. What? What? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone. Oh by. yeah. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Uh... What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. <laughs> Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I'm a regular old good Samaritan. What's up, Brooke? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk yes. to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. Oh, sick burn! And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Is you, are you insinuating that I can't talk back to him? Um, <laughs> she was saying even meteorologists are stumps. They don't know what's going on. But, oh, Warren will. Warren will know exactly what's going on. Juliet's room. Where are these showers? Showers. There. Right there. Let's go. Let's go get my suds on. Let's go get my soapy soap on. Hi, Kate. Yeah, Kate was the girl. That is Kate, yeah. She apparently... She either got drunk or something, I can't remember. Um, it's been so long since the first episode, I really should brush up on stuff before I do these things. But, I, I remember I was saying maybe she got like a sex tape or something, or she did something weird while drunk or something and everyone's being mean to her. Hey Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. No probs! Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? <laughs> By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Sure. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Again, I'm not- I'm not like a hundred percent on some of the dialogue in this game. I mean, I really like the game, don't get me wrong. But some of the dialogue is a bit like- some of the words they're saying is a bit off. But no, I- I still like the game. Do you still have your shower supplies? Where did I put them? Oh god. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I won't take my clothes off. I have to like break the tension of this scene because otherwise it's extremely awkward. Me just sitting here watching a girl shower. <laughs> oh God. What? What's up, Kate? School. <laughs> That's it. Good answer. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. 
Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. What a bitch. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Go on. You, you wanna say something? Don't start none, won't be none. That's what I thought. See, I She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Oh, it's on. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway. Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> Who writes the fucking HTTP thing on the on the mirror? Then again, it is set back in the old days when people didn't really know how the internet worked. Remember how you'd go to the address bar and you'd type in, like, dogs or something instead of the Google search bar like you were supposed to? It's not right, ma! <laughs> I better get dressed than go give back Kate's Erase book. that message, yo! Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Because you're worth it. L'Oreal. Is that L'Oreal? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, use. You just had a shower! Hello? Sorry, I forgot. Oh, I just scalded someone in there. <laughs> Are your nips all twisty fresh? I hope so. Rachel is a whore. This place is lovely. I feel right at home in this whole area. Just listen to the audio in the background for a sec. I heard like, hi, hi. Um... Okay, let's run back to my room. <laughs> go, go in. Warren's just there on the bed, naked, seducing you. Hey, Max. Ugh, no fucking way. Who did that? This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. God dang it. Kate's book. No book here. You're such a messy mess. Book! There it is. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Oh, if only if we had Kate some- the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. If only we had some sort of power! <laughs> go, go, gadget, reverse timatron! Here we go. Um, what? Oh, there we go. Are, are we good? Yeah. Be gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> <laughs> Even if that's you talking in your head, that's still goofy. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Sneaky little hobbitses. I would do the voice, but I can't. I wish I could. Wade can do it. Wade's actually really good at it. I need to it. get dressed before I go there. Oh, God, you people in your clothes. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. And- Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Oh, I see what you did, developers. You didn't want to, like, um, model a now different I set of clothes? take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Well, not really. You can only bring it back a certain amount of time. Which one's Kate's room? That's Brooke's room. There's Brooke down there. Kate's room. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Good evening. Oh, So sad. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Because I wanted to! I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would, but it's nice to see that you care about me. 
Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Illuminati. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is Sorry. Too? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory. Roofies! It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. I'm gonna be like a detective. CSI, life is strange. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. Okay, sorry. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help He's me. He's a douche. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Ugh. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. Oh, God. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? <coughs> I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Okay, oddly specific. You can't get a viral video taken down. Once that bad boy is released, you are screwed. Uh, book. There you go. Can I rewind time? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Pretty sure it's the latter. Should I go to the police? Yes. Oh! Sophie's choice. Well, Max's choice. Jack's choice. My choice. I kind of want to go to the police, but I kind of want to look for proof at the same time. Look for proof. I mean, it can always rewind time, right? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use yeah. that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. I'll no, help. Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh. Max is right, though. It's the voice of reason. The cops won't believe her. I'll get you your proof. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yeah. We need to find Nathan Prescott and punch him in the dick. Get answers out of him. Wait, where am I going? Chloe. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. Max, food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. Jesus Christ, you guys text faster than anything I've ever seen in my life. 
Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Ha uh ha! -huh. Left my husband leaves God's door. Okay, let's go to the two whales and get some food. There's some food in my belly. I'm starving. I'm actually hungry in real life as well. Were those birds? They look like a swarm of locusts. Hello there. Birds. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Are you the bird whisperer? Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. He's a murderer! And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Okay. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Okay. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Um, I see, uh, see you later! Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Don't say that to him! Oh, that's your spirit. Yeah. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Unlucky dude. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. That guy's a freak! <laughs> Hello, young Samuel. Or Max. Hello, young Max. <laughs> Shit, I messed it up. It's supposed to be creepy. Um that, that could be your spirit animal. It could also be your Patronus. Did you ever think about that? The Harry's mother's one was a doe, right? Or was it Harry's that was a doe? Or his father's? I can't remember. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Wouldn't call that polite at all. Hey, Wardick! Max, it's over here. Hey, what's up, dude? Punch him in the face. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Oh, hello, Black Eye. For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. <laughs> I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Positive Even message! You left me with said bully and ran off with that girl. <laughs> She's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Um, AA meetings. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Oh, he's not. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. I know, right? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Oh, yeah, let's go! Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, wait! I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. Oh. I'll text you the info. Awesome. We're going on a date with Wardick. That's, that's his name, by the way. Wardick, Max Dick, Clo Dick. <laughs> They're all going to be something Dick. Jack Dick. Touchdown. How's it going to the two whales? Oh, sorry, the two whales. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Nope. This has something to do with Kate. Yep. Or Rachel. Mm, maybe. I don't know. This is weird. What's going on? Blackwell Academy Transportation looks like it was written by graffiti artists. Oh, that's the guy in the seat! I thought it was the bus driver all of a sudden and he changed completely. I was gonna say that's one badass looking bus driver with the haircut. 
<laughs> she puts in the headphones all yours. <laughs> Listening to fucking hardcore death metal. <laughs> That'd be so fucking funny. Uh, I could make a funny game, man. Well, at least a funny one-time joke scene thing. Personally, I prefer the death metal. It's more my style. This works good. I want to go to a village like that, like a little town. You always see them, it's, again, it's exactly like a Twilight kind of town. Like, the, a lot of this story feels kind of like Twilight, except the vampires and the werewolves and all that. Well, we don't know yet. But like, girl goes off to a new school, meets people. One of them looks like the Asian girl with glasses that was there, that Brooke one. I don't know, so, some parts would feel- I mean, I've never seen Twilight, shut up! You don't know about me. I've actually seen the first two Twilight movies, and after that I was like... like yeah, after the first two, Jack. Not five minutes into the first one. There's that lighthouse again. It's foreshadowing. I get how stories work. I'm smart, shut up. <laughs> That's a nice song. There we go, the two whales. When she said earlier, she was like, let's go get food, two whales. I thought she was saying, let's eat until we turn into two whales. <laughs> there we go, no more song. Oh, whale. This is actually a pretty good looking game. I, I, I talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Uh, I want to go to an old school timey diner like this. We, we don't get these. You only see the shit in movies and that though, right? Actually, any of you who live in America probably see those things all the time. Sorry, never mind. Chloe, look! Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. What age are you, by the way? Running late, grab a booth at the diner, mom will feed you. Somebody better, I'd be lucky if you make it by noon. It's 20 to 9 in the morning! Oh, look at that food! Drool. Cookies and cakes! It's Jack's, it's Jack's home. I just, oh, just set up a bed for me here. Just inject it into my veins. I'm gonna live out the rest of my days here, or the rest of my day. Because I'd probably die very quickly if I just sat here eating cake and cookies all day. But ma'am, what a way to go. Missing poster out through the window, I saw that. Oh yeah, shake that on over here. Sorry. <laughs> and there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing? Hello, Bernice. Hi, Joyce. Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. Well, You're still smart, but not that smart. <laughs> now you get busted for smoking pot. I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry, this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No. No matter what Chloe says. No, he's not. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke like ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I am! I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Yeah. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Yes, she does! Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs... Time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. <laughs> Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. 
I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. Oh, really? But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Yes. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie. Max. Oh, a doobie. I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe or an does idiot. push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? Oh, here we go. Oh, time to put salt in wounds. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. Then how the hell do you I know? I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Cookies and cake, my good dear! I can't... I can't choose cookies and cakes. Bacon omelette. I, I love... I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. I love bacon. Now finish your coffee. I didn't even start my coffee! <laughs> But well, thank you. Ah. One bacon omelet for the young lady, stat. You're not a nurse. Stop pretending like your career means more than it actually does. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This guy looks weird. What are you going to do? What's going on? Oh, he's only putting on a jukebox. I'm just going to sit here and look around a little bit. Oh, let's drink some of my coffee. Sweet. Tasty nectar of the gods. Some beer and bacon this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. I like this guy's choice in music. Woo! Also, the whole like shake it and bring it over here thing about Joyce before was because like you always see in like movies that there's a a waitress and then there's like a sleaze ball at the table. No, He's like, oh dude. honey, what, what you shake that on is? over here. And she turns around, she's like, Cletus, you know I ain't about that life. Now you've had too much to drink. Now get back home to your wife. That's usually how they go. Um, okay, what can we do? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Thank. Thank you. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. <laughs> when I look at pictures of Chloe, uh... Speak of the devil <laughs> and he the devil. shall appear. I fucking knew she was going to say that. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Ooh. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 I am 18. Now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Oh no, that is the ultimate insult! You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? That context is, is very needed. Or not context, like phrasing. Better phrasing. Hey, don't change the music! What are you changing to? Now that that's out of the way. This is actually pretty cool! Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. How? You wouldn't this know. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, so it's time for a test. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have condom. Um... <laughs> Tube of chewing gum. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Fuck. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Keys. Tube of glitter. Money. That was beyond epic. Cigarettes. Though. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Go, go, gadget, rewind time. Uh, okay, look first. Okay, Max. 
study every item carefully. Key, and don't forget cigarettes, everything. coins, ticket. Key, cigarettes, coin, ticket. Key, cigarettes, coin, ticket. Jesus Christ, this is rewinding forever. You're not saying anything. Oh God, is it broken? Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Um, cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. I got yes, this. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, come on! Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. I got it right! Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Um, puppy in my pocket. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. Panda. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda, bitch. Uh, panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Irish luck! Woo! Yeah! Represent! What's up? Everybody, cheer! A parking ticket. Oh, fuck. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, you're a dick bag. 11, 10 a.m.? That is so wrong. Fuck. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I'm gonna skip this! <sighs> fuck it anyway. Seven okay. cigarettes! So Panda keychain! You were busted at 10.34 a.m. And... Oh, God. I don't fucking know. 170 million coins? One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are what? Quarter? 25? Okay, so, oh, God. 75, 76, 77, 79, 79. Uh, okay, I got it. I think. Okay, 10.34 a.m. Okay, I got it. I think. Is there a way of rewinding faster? I'm holding shift. It's not going that much faster. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get the money wrong. Because I am not okay, good at counting American money. Uh, we'll go with the money actually first. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Sorry, fucking gangster. 80, oh god. It was, oh, one, two, three, four, 86? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Whoa, what up? Represent! Oh, that was cool. Show me more. You got a parking ticket, bro. Oh, God. A parking ticket. You know me well. But? Shut up. It's 10.34. I know this. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Whoa! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. I love that saying. It means that the clock stops. That doesn't... You know what? I'm not even going to explain it. It's so fucking obvious. Your car keys. Duh, way too panda! Easy. Shut fuck up! I got it! A cute robot panda Got it! We, we saw these already! That Irish look! Oh, I needed to listen to that again. Fuck. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you know. Seven cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. I am awesome. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You corroborated that I was correct every single time. You have powers. <laughs> What's Take up? Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How come I didn't get... How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Good save Man, from I'm what? I'm like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. <laughs> you, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. What a dick. I already did it. I will it. predict the future. No way. Okay. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay. Your mother is going over. Oops. Okay. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. There we go. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Okay. He started it. I'm finishing it. Amazing how everything happens just as I need to remember. Is that it? 
Okay. Oh, I don't think that was all of them, was it? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next four? 30 seconds or so. I only saw three. Um, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Here we go. So what happens next? Uh, he'll alert the cop, alert on cops radio and he leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and- No, he doesn't! The diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. It's wrong. The fucking partner left. Justin and Trevor fight. Joyce beats them. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce stops them. Joyce encourages them. Joyce, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting. Yeah, come on. Shut up. Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. I don't care. I got one wrong. I'm just gonna watch it play out again. Can you not fast forward this? I have the power to rewind time. Can I have the power to fucking fast forward it as well? Break another cup? Really? No refill for you. There we go. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I got this. I'm I can do it again. Oh, the radio changed or the TV changed. Okay, so wait for another event. Is that girl gonna do something? Music. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Haha, <laughs> good. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and Yeah, 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 blah 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 blah. Here we go. We're gonna get it this time. We're gonna be perfect. I'm going to here we go. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his. So what happened? Uh, his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency. I can't on skip this. Come on. And his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's. Uh, Justin and Trevor fight, and Joy stops them. Justin and. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it, as a butterfly. As the trucker plays it, what? I didn't see that. The trucker didn't play a new song. I'm gonna guess a butterfly because it's like the time thing. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you. Yeah, well, said. Do I have to watch all this again? And I can't skip it. Ah, oh, for the love of God! <laughs> I was gonna be here. Just go all without me. This is a cockroach butterfly what? Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No Keep an eye on the jukebox. Shh. Hey, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. I'm right. Hey, where is my partner? Cockroach, fuck! You're a oh, so cool. Bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Fucking cockroach. Cockroach. Yeah. Three out of four is still good. This is a sad day in Maxville. <laughs> sure the hell better than that other guy. Shut up! I do it again. I should have actually just re rewound time as soon as I saw the cockroach. Can I do this forever? For I'm going to predict. Here we go. Yes. Uh, trucker drops his mug. So. Uh, partner leaves without him. The cop. Well, let's just. Uh, Joyce stops them. Justin. This is getting. And a cockroach. There we go. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarre. Here we go. Perfect. I got it right this time. Because it's a different camera angle. Hi, Mom. Trucker drop mug. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait. Really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it, but he's off to go bust some skaters. Oh, you're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take <laughs> your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. Oh, you're so funny. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? Woo! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. 
Yes, that's what I did. I sucked you your earlobes. Time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. We? I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Yeah, too much rewind in time. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sight. I, I knew that that was going to happen. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh, phrasing again. <laughs> um, it's always the case like in Chloe these rewinding time things that they always start bleeding from the nose. What's going on on the TV? That's an actual real TV broadcast. Today on KB7 News. Coming up at noon. KB7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to KB7 News for the real story. Nah, I don't feel like it. I'm going to leave my friend. Let's go. Can, can we go? Oh god, I right-click by mistake. Fine, I speak to you. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Yeah, again, freezing! Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. What a... Bitch! Um... Oh god, I really want to answer the phone! Because I don't want to be bad and Kate's- or not Kate, Chloe's just a dick. Um... I- and I have a feeling Kate might die or something. Otherwise, I'm gonna answer. Sorry. You just rewind time, right? Hey Kate, <laughs> what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Bye. See you later. Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. I don't rock. I roll. Let's bust this joint. This place is tapped. I'm outie. See you later. Bye, Joyce! Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. Nah. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Things have consequences, and I feel terrible. Speed limit 30! Ho ho! Speed is key! Had to get that in there. I'd get at least one catchphrase in there. Uh, speed's key. Like a boss. Top of the morning. What else do I say? Um, high fives all around. I, I, sorry. Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and Bye. how well you do in this phase of the test. More Welcome tests. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. <laughs> Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Super sized. Something moved back there. I saw that. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. <laughs> Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. Che Guevara. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Like what? Stopping a bullet midair? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. And you have changed too much. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. America! You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Ah, oh, look at her cute, all oh, standing there. Ah, oh, pretty please. Ah, oh, I thought you were going to stay there forever. Um, bottles. Bottles. Where are the old doll? Look, where are the man find bottles? Every car has its own tale and history. Thank you for that. That was incredibly insightful. That's a bottle. You mean like glass bottles? That's creepy. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. It's a doll, not a dog. Need bottles. Bottles. Shirt? No. 
Bottles, old camera. Ooh, maybe she has something to say about the old camera. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. Rest in pepperonis. Bottle! I see a bottle. Gotcha. There Stupid bottle. Fine. God. Just use and abuse your powers. Look at the bottle. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. How do I... How do I get up to it? How, how do I... How... What? You're just gonna do the same thing again? Don't knock it over. Are you gonna knock it over again? <sighs> Why? How... What do I do? Ah, okay. Shut up, I knew it. There we go. Stand on top. Also, shut up, you! Also, like, I know a lot of people are going to be saying, like, I'm very, like, low-key in this, these these recordings. Th that's the ideas. Like, oh, yeah, okay. Do I, uh, do I stand on you, or do I just go to take a bottle? There we go, okay. Got one! Yeah, so these bottle number one. These one these go. types of recordings are supposed to be like slower paced, more like like less hectic, less shouting and all that kind of stuff. So if that kind of stuff I should say that right from the offset, that if that stuff bothers you, that you don't like those kind of things, like not Ooh, to watch. Only three bottles left. It's a bit late now, like an hour into the recording almost. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Um, it's kind of not rendering in properly. That dough is the perfect photo op. Because it's not real! Okay, Warren said something. SMS. Um, oh, Mom! Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told him all the tales about Blackwell Honor Student. Is this true? <laughs> the principal said that this was a serious false charge and is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP. No. Warren. Or whether. Or whatever, anyway, go ape. Too late. What? What's going on? Oh god. That's too much reading, Warren. I'm sorry. Bye. Um, nobody else? Thought there was somebody else. Oh, there is. Private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Santa? They did say he sees you when you're sleeping. Do I go back? No, I thought I was gonna go back and take a photo of the- of the dough. Dough. I see the dough. But there's also a stump. Sit. Why am I sitting at the stump? It's so quiet and primordial out here. I, no, get up! I wanna take a picture of the thing! I don't care about your existential crisis. Take a photo. Hi. See, he's not real, he's a ghost. It's not going to show up in the picture. What do you see? See? No, he's not there. I can't click on it. What do we do? I can't click on them. Okay, the dough isn't there because it's not real. You're going crazy in your head. There he is again! Hi, majestic dough. Dough, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. I'm not gonna sing the rest. It's a long song. You guys get annoyed. I get annoyed. Not the best singer. Um, I meant to say as well, in like one of my recordings earlier, I got like a piece of clothing. I got a package recently. This was an old school punk shirt. Awesome. Maybe Chloe would like it. I got a package recently when I was in pack. When I was at PAX, I got like a phone call. I didn't answer it because it would cost me a fortune to answer it while I was roaming. Um, but I got like a text message saying, oh, um, there was a package left in like the apartment below mine and I went down like loads of times recently to try and get it and the guy wasn't there So he like caught me today and he was like, oh, did you order something? I was like, yeah, but I don't know what because I, I never know what I order. I order nope, so many I things I don't want to go there Okay, not there yet. I ordered so many things that I didn't know what was arriving and I thought like all the stuff I had ordered arrived already and he was like, no, it's not you and I was like I, I like gave him my full name, my apartment, showed him the message on my phone saying I got the the package and he was like, no, it must be somebody else. Oh, he, fucking what a dick. Thanks for the tip. Eat shit and live. Thanks. Um, 
I got my package in the end, but he, like he didn't he really didn't believe it was me. No, and he was like, I don't want to go I there. Get it. And he was like, Oh, well, you know, like the modern world and all that, like you can't trust anybody. What a dick. Anyway, just a little tidbit. <laughs> This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. La la la, and this way. Go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Fuck you, yes you. Ouch. Yeah, you can tell a lot about fucking Chloe and Rachel by them telling you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Maybe it was for the doll that's out there. Friendship bracelets. That kind of hurts. Chloe and Rachel. Or... Charizard and Raichu. It's Pokemon. <laughs> uh, photos. Look at the photos. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Oh well, water under the bridge. What are you gonna do? There's nothing else in here. Let's go. Where's the last bottles? Car wreck, no. Bottle! You are like all the way up there. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Like the car? What? Syringes? Well, this is a lovely place. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. What's over here? This sounds scary. Get the plank. Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Yeah! It doesn't look too heavy. Then go grab it! Oh wait, do I have to get on this? All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? You're just normal, I'd say. How do I get up? Seriously, how do we get up there? Oh wait, I can oh I can walk up here. Ah, oh, okay. I get it. I'm not a stoop. Kinda am. Now grab the plank. It's just like The Last of Us. Way you pick up the planks. I thought. You're a beast! It's, it's probably heavy because you picked it up from the bottom. You know, there's a center of gravity, a whole physics thing. I'm not gonna get into it because you won't understand because it's too late now. One more bottle to go. Yay! Let's sit in the chair. Life this is strange. Alive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and <laughs> the future. Despite all the chaos and Okay, chaos, yeah, enough of that. I sorry. Kate! Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do any oh god. Guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that is not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. Kisses! Talk to you later. Bye, Kate. Thank you for not killing yourself already. Get the football. Get the football. Chloe! The Bigfoots were here. Go deep! I wanted to pick up the football and throw it to her. I can throw a tour over there. She's only over there. I got a, I got a strong arm. You see these plus one biceps? Well, to be Max's plus one biceps. Where's the last bottle? Where haven't I been? I don't know. Look. This is the scariest thing here. It's a shirt. <laughs> washing machine. Is there something in it? I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Who gives a knack? Where's the last bottle? Oh, look at this. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Is there really a point to asking these things? It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. The last spot. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. There is? Oh, I haven't been over here. It's gonna tell me not to go this way, isn't it? Here! Nope, I don't want to go there. Told ya. I thought that was a bonfire, it was just a rock. No, I don't want to go there. Bonfire, bonfire. 
Bonfire! Something has showed up on that, I think. I thought something has showed up in the school bus thing. No, maybe I'm going crazy. Oh wait, maybe it was just... Yeah, probably. Something else. Um... Uh, is it this? Oh, this is the bonfire area. Maybe? No? Bottle? Is this game really making me hunt down bottles right now? Am I really so bad at hunting down bottles that I can't find five? I didn't really, like, go much further up here. Bottle? 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 Fuck. Oh, come on, where's the bottle at? I should really, like, search around properly, just in case. Um. No, I think I searched all this. I don't think there's a bottle here. Unless... No. Sorry. Did you guys see it already? I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I'm not gonna car wreck. Screw that. You're just gonna talk shite again. Bonfire spot. Bonfire spot. Bonfire. Bonfire. No, no. That's where I was already. Hello. I don't want to go that way. I don't care. Where the fuck do I have to go? Seriously? Gun shells. Oh god. Those shells look fresh. Yeah, and those are shotgun shells. They're not for the pistol. C can you tell me where I to go? To find dirty ass bottles while you She has a bottle in her hand. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So bow. Exactly. You can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No way. That's super villain I talk. I don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. Yeah. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what yeah, else you can Yeah, and you could be a bit more fucking grateful. You know? Like, tell me where the bonfire I spot is. bonfire spot where people party around here. That does not help me. That just tells me that there's another bottle around, which I already know. Telling me where that bottle is would be real fucking helpful. Oh god. Look at the sign, maybe. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I'm sorry, I, I hate- the hush I know a lot of people are probably gonna get annoyed that I can't find the last bottle, and a lot of you probably know where to go already. And I'm just not seeing it. Come on! Was there- wasn't anything else up here, was there? Football, no. Maybe another bottle down here somewhere? No, maybe. Why would there be? God dang it! Is there an area I haven't been to that I'm just bypassing? Maybe I need to check harder. Hold on. This is that place. Unless there's something else in here. No, because this is not the bonfire spot. Oh, we can write! Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Yeah! Is that gonna make a difference? Probably- Ah, oh, look at that! LA bitch. Or just LA bitch. Like the way Reddit people say LA Reddit. <laughs> Where the fuck is this bottle? It's just a bottle. It's a fine look at the car wreck. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Where the fuck? And I would skip this and like edit it out, but like I usually do these things, these episodes unedited. And I'd forget to edit it out. You'll just see me walking around not saying anything. 
So that's why I keep talking about it. I feel like I've literally been everywhere. Stump. I sat at that. I sat on you. I'm confused. Like, very confused. Look at ya! Hiding away! Is there any fucking wonder I couldn't find ya? No, no! Don't say those things to me! Don't look at me like that! Don't give me them well, eyeballs! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Ah! Fucking boxes. Yeah, I know! I'm rewinding! Come on, faster! Okay, you rewound a lot. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Yes. Are you gonna fall again? Okay, why did they fall the first time and not the second time? I don't get that. Okay, let's head back to Chloe. Chloesaurus. Where is she? Oh, over here. Finally, we can, like, continue. Thanks, Max. You're welcome, bitch! Oh, are you gonna use the one that's in your hand already? And we'll have six. That would make a lot of sense. Wait, one more for the road. There we go. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Okay. Max, you have to help me aim. Why? How? Where? Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. What? Okay. Am I supposed to be doing this? Right. Oh, fuck it. I didn't have a chance. Oh, we go all the way. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh! Nailed it. Oh, yes. Did you see that shit, Max? Yes. Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? Shoot first. You're on target. Pull the trigger. Is she? No. Aim a little bit up. And you'll be fine. Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Boom! Watch out, Nathan. Oh, now okay. that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Why? Blue plank! Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. <laughs> Take that, oh frick plank! Yeah! Gotcha! Yawn. Okay. Do I go back? Maybe? Yeah, okay. Aim at the Give barrel. Give shoot, Max. TV! I bet you want to blow apart those old computers. Okay, models. computer! Let's reboot them with a bullet. Yeah! Old school. Is that it? Lame. What, what do I do? Okay, do I just keep rewinding until I find something that you like shooting? Because that's tedious as fuck. Give me something to shoot, Mac. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Or do I have to shoot them all? Take out the wheel rim now. Ba-ding! That's that fucking cool! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? See when Max is getting into this now? Um, shoot the bumper. Dude, I need a target before I shit. 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 Sounded like she said shit as well. Front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. No, bumper! <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up! Back Stupid up! Gun. Hold on, Chloe. Oh! I shot herself in the boob of all things! What a shot! That was awesome! Okay, so no more shooting yourself. Shoot. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Wheel! How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. There we go! Oh! Oh!
Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Woo! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Uh, I um, feel so good. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Max! Snake! Snake! Back to the lighthouse for our hallucination. Oh no. Never mind. Are we good? Are you dead? Pretty sure she's dead. Roll credits. End of the game. <sighs> Fucking hair. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Sure. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. Okay, I'm just gonna speak to I her straight away. Up, Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. Cause, cause we were using the gun before. I nice. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh! Oh, I get it. Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. What are you- Oh, is that David? Oh shit, hey, now he catches me. Thelma and Louise. Oh no, it's not. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? It's, it's shooting you in the Frank. dick. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let Shoot him in the see. dick! Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business. Rachel's now. bracelet. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? No. Please. Please step back. Oh, God. You're kidding. Put that down. Shoot him in the dick! Oh! I- I- I kinda wanna shoot! I could shoot and rewind time, right? See, that's the thing! I'm afraid of messing it up and, like, not doing what I want, but I wanna shoot and see what happens and then rewind time. Should I do that? Yeah, cause I don't wanna shoot. That is hilarious. <gasps> oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. <laughs> what?! That was you the most ridiculous line ever! Pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Yeah, you should try the same, instead of a knife. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, even if the gun has no bullets. Still Sorry. a gun. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Welcome. I didn't do anything. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Again! Freezing! Since Frank is gone, he won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jeez. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Yeah. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, you're fast! Maybe you have a superpower. Well, Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need. We both need time. Ah, oh, I get it. We're fucking out of time. We're in time. I can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. <laughs> oh. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. Don't fall. You're on railroad tracks, not a bridge. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. 
Let's take a break and I'll talk. Cool, cool. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Get off the tracks! Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Tip top! I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? No. Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? Switch your wang out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Maybe he killed her. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Isn't tweens like 20s? Or like teens and then tweens? You're like, you're 18. You're not a tween yet. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. Hella. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. Meow. <laughs> it's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. Hey, I was saying something cool. Go fuck yourself. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Are these two gonna kiss eventually? I have a feeling like they might kiss. Perfect. Oh no! This is bad! This is bad! Mayday! Headache! Ouch! Yeah, you could- Help! I got stuck! Uh oh! I told you this is a bad fucking idea. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. Take off your boot. What's that noise? The train. Oh shit. Take off the fucking boot. Get me out of here, Max. What do I do? Oh god. Oh god. My friends going to die by train. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Put. Ah fuck. I should have went to the fuse box first. I should have known. Can't even move it an inch. Okay. Open. Come awesome. On, it's not locked. What do I do? I ain't no electrician. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. Please, get me out of here. Where am I going to find a tool? Oh, tool shed. Okay, okay, I got it. Rail rats. Nice picture. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'd rather have... I don't have... I'd rather not read that. I don't have time. Shit, I can't budget at all. Oh, it's just one obstacle after another with you, isn't it, you big pile of dicks? What do I do? What do I do? How do I get in? The I fucking know. And I can rewind time, so it doesn't really matter. How, how, how do I get into this? Get me out of Shut up! Oh, crowbar. I can definitely use this bad boy. Uh-oh! Uh, Uh-oh! Oh, well, let's just watch this for now. Ah, oh, man, come on! Only one way around this. Ah, what a fucker! You gotta show me the cool thing, and then let me rewind. 
There we go, all the way back to the start. Oh god, am I gonna die? No, okay. Uh, crowbar. Oh, I got the crowbar already. Do we use it on the door? Crowbar, yeah. Could've just used it on the fuse box. Avoided the middleman. I mean, if it opens a door, it's gonna open a fuse box. I'm coming, you bitch! Now I can pull a total MacGyver. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Go, go, run! Please, get me out of here! I hear you! Go, 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 go! Fuse box. Open the fuse box. Cut all the wires. But which wire to cut? I don't fucking know. Oh, stupid light! No go! Come on! Shit! Okay, so I go back then. Please get me out of here! Ah, oh, shut up, will ya? But which wire to cut? Yellow! And it was all yellow. Whoa. Short circuit city. Short circuit city, bitch. Short city, bitch. Short circuit city, bitch. Come on! Stupid Jack, it's always the red wire. wire to cut? In all the movies, it's always the red wire. Why does that work? The right cable. Max! Yes, I did it. Oh god. Oh god! That was close! You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Oh yeah, sure now. Damn. Saved your life close. twice. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? time in your lair, but <laughs> I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. Hooray! My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Cheesy. Lame. I was going to say something, actually, about something they just did. Oh yeah, I saved her life twice. Usually Thanks in- Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us. I wouldn't right? call that boring. Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. <laughs> explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. Right. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Yeah. Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything in Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. Hello, so Michael let's Bay. Party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah! Fuck! It's awesome! Bye! Don't die while I'm away! Bitch! <laughs> Sorry to keep calling her a bitch, by the way. <laughs> um, no, but it's like Lost. If any of you have never watched Lost, um, it's like... Okay, spoiler if you've never watched Lost, Charlie dies in Lost. Um, but it was a thing where Desmond had to keep trying to save him, but in the end he died anyway, because there's nothing you can do. Once someone is destined to die, they die. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so... I can do some wandering. Yeah, sure. Um, so like, I have a feeling that's what might end up happening to Chloe. That no matter how many times I save her, she's destined to die, so it's gonna happen anyway. Sweetest outfit. Shut up, I'm gonna talk to the principal. Hello, Prinwells! Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Talk to Nathan? Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Mm -mm. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. Nah, -uh, girl. I focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. 
Sure. You mean... Hasselkate? Sounds like a name. Hi, my name is Hasselkate. <laughs> I saw Mr. Madsen Hasselkate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. I'm gonna blame you next, motherfucker. Okay, I'm just going straight to class. I know I can, like, look around at all the stuff, but... Oh, Mr. Madsen. Hello, David! Kick him in the balls and excuse run. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Oh. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done Why? anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. That's all she wrote. You know, you could kick him in the balls and then rewind time. You know, like, take out your frustration. That'd be a great use of the power. Hello. Warren! Hey, girl! Sit down, science. Bruh? I don't get it. I'm in sci-fi lab now. I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. Haha. <laughs> see you soon! I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I have to score some weed from Nathan. Is it in here? Miss Grant? Oh, there's- there's Warren. I wanna go down and talk to Kate, though. Who's she talking to? Oh, she's talking to Mr. Sexy- Oh! Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. I do! I can help! Kate! I'm gonna walk alongside you. We're best Please, friends, look! Leave me alone. Fine. I mean, she's a bitch now as well. Um, I think I have to go to that class anyway, so I'm gonna go and talk to Warren. Hey, Warry Poo. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. <laughs> I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Um, let's add some sodium. I have a vision. Go diem. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. These are so super cool. Explosion! Kaboom! <laughs> Damn. Zip. Nothing. Fine, we go back and we use your frickin' potassium. Think, big brain. Think. Oh, no, no, no. Chemistry stuff. Chem chemistry stuff! Bring me the brain, Igor. Oh wait, I have to talk to him. What am I doing? Hey, Warren. Here Max we go. Was... Maxwell Max Silver Hammer. What's happening, girl? Oh, potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium, it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Bring it in, bro. I already know it's gonna work. What's up? Explosion City. Weird science. Yeah, we've- we got chemistry, bro. Where's- where's my fucking hug? Where's my hug? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. I am sorry! It can't be that hard. Who did the experiment? I did. Hello, Mr. Jefferson. Or should I say, Mr. Sexerson? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. 
I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Mm. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? Well... <laughs> The one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And yep. Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Maybe. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yeah, actually, and that's kind of true. Maybe she just watched the damn video. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Me? No, it wasn't me. No. Um, you got somebody. Okay. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Say by the bell. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Fine. You're lucky you're one sexy stallion of a man. Hi, Stella. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo. Oh, not- Oh, wait, Dana's nice. Dana, I'll talk to Dana. No time control. to talk, Max. Turn left, Posing in progress. Right. Fine. Is something bad gonna happen to this girl again? Look, Alyssa! I'm gonna take a photo of Alyssa. Super cool picture. Thanks, Alyssa! You're useful for once. Now let's speak to her. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> I'm getting all like super serious and deep and shit. I'm thinking about poetry and shit. <laughs> oh. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Hi, she... guys! Very quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? <laughs> no. Not at no. all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Ew, oh, ew, 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 sick Take burn! Take this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Assholes. Yeah, I agree. What dickbags. What are we doing? Let's draw penises all over our notepad. Seems like a good use of our time. Fucking hair! Oh no, Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Is David in that video with her or something? What do we do? What are you motherfuckers looking at, huh? You wanna go? You wanna pee some Max? He'll get you. Hey, Warby! Warble! What up, Max? What hey, up? Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Hey, Everybody hey. else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. Later, I fucker. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. That's mean. She's not feeling good. Sounds I'm like drawing. you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. 
I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to j No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Sorry, I didn't get to read that. What did she say? Judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of it. Kate's not here. I guess Kate will miss class now. We can only blame ourselves for participating. I'm worried about her. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the yes, syllabus sir. like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiroskiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. I actually knew that. Play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in mind. Yo, some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm. Zachary, do not come in. Oh my class no, like that ever again. Kate. Listen, everybody remain seated. Kate. Oh this shit. I, I keep like, uh, well, I don't know how far the game is gonna go, but I keep like expecting. Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. What'd she do? Oh God, no! Oh, I keep expecting the worst. I she fucking can't. told you she was gonna kill herself! That's what I expected to see, like her hanging out the window or something. Uh, no! Not again. Not now. Power through it! I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. No, it's not gonna work. She's gonna die, isn't she? I told you, those who are destined to die just die. Uh oh. Uh oh, I stopped time. I am a fucking magician. Can okay, go. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Oh, that's a cool effect where you can see like the rain just sitting around. That is awesome. Can I like move the birds? <laughs> hey, what's up, girls? Okay, just power through it. Power through it. Keep on going. Keep on going, Max. You're powerful. I believe in you. You're heart of a warrior. Why are you all blocking the way? You sons of bastards. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Catch her. Let her drop on you or something. Uh-oh. David! You weren't no fucking help chasing around. You knew what she was up to. Get in. Get inside. Get inside. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. She can't die. I'm not letting her die. Kate, hi. Just grab yes. her. Don't talk to her. Just grab her. I know in all the movies you see them like talking them down, and usually that's a good idea. But when you have the opportunity to grab them, you fucking grab them. Oh, hey, Kate. <laughs> oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do come it. Near me. Not don't now. do it. It won't work. I don't have any power. Then now just I grab have her. To do this by myself. Uh oh. Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. I know. Okay. I've okay. seen it twice. <laughs> I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. Yes, please. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Good. I'll always be here for you, Kate. Let's get closer. My motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. Yeah. I always feel like you really listen. Good. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. 
This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I didn't. I'm gathering proof? Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Yes. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He is a scumbag. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Well. We to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all nobody else have each other on the way up here. So I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Wait. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. There are billions of videos. Everyone forget. Um, there are billions of videos. Um, but yeah, okay. Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Wrong right answer. Laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied too, but this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Oh! Hey, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. I just said oh. I care! Your sisters, your mother, your brother, your father. Why? Which, who do I pick? What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother. At all. Yeah, you're right. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No. 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 no! I can't rewind. Did I really just let her die? Dude. Please don't tell me I could have saved her and I fucked that up. Oh, God! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh... before she did what she did. Dude! Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven I think to you such know. desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. And she talked to you like Mr. two Prescott, seconds before it happened. Since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. What about me? Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I tried to fucking help. Oh god! Fuck! Um... David bullied her, well I don't know that for a fact. Jefferson made her cry. I do know that because she walked off crying. Um, Nathan Doster. Oh. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. 
She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Sure you do, Careful, douchebag. Careful, <laughs> Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, Yep. I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Yay! See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. There we go. Yeah, let's go back and like talk about Mr. Jefferson then this time. Faster, faster. There we go. There we go. There we go. Whoosh. Skip. Uh, Jefferson made her cry. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, yep. Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this. I did answer her calls. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. Yikes. I understand it. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let oh, Max God. speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign. Okay, so we go back and we... I'm assuming that we go back and we figure out, like, which story we want to listen to or which one we want to go with. So far, the Nathan one is the best one. That I want to go with. We'll see what Madsen has to say. Jefferson sounded a bit weird though, like how he automatically just said she knew something about Madsen. Uh, David bullied her. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse <laughs> me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part Shut of the crowd. Up. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do deals? with- Deals? Max, falsely accusing other people seems to be a habit with you. Hey, fuck you! I trust my security officer. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I th okay, we're gonna go with the Nathan oh. story. Um, yeah, okay, let's rewind. I mean, it seems like th that or Jefferson, because the Madsen one was very quick, very short, nothing really got happened to it. I got suspended for it. This really seemed, seemed like the best avenue, so we'll go with... We'll go with Nathan, because fuck that guy. Uh, now we skip. Sorry. Skip, skip, skip. Mr. You guys Prescott. trust me, right? Trust my decisions? Doesn't really matter. My playthrough. Oh, my decisions. Uh, let's sign. Ha! 
Take that, Nathan! Spit in his face. Don't do that. That's not well, nice. Well, <laughs> I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. <laughs> I know this has been a stressful day. Could say that. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming. I do. Kind of. Maybe. See you later, douchebag. I assume the episode is going to be wrapping up soon, because that was a pretty big event. And it is called Out of Time, and I it kind of makes sense. I can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons. Not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. They're gonna kiss. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. <laughs> so, what do you think is really happening? I don't know. What the hell is this? Snow? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Oh. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. There actually was an eclipse happening. I was just looking at the clouds rolling over the sun. What the fuck? Us, Mr. Jefferson. What are you talking about? Sad. I'm assuming there's nothing you could have done to save her in the game. Because, like, I don't know what the other event to end the episode would be. is one thing, but an eclipse is astrological, cosmological, phantasmagorical. What is this shit?
Someone's keeping tabs on all these girls. Maybe Chloe and Max are like victims as well. That somebody wants to take out. Okay, that was a good episode! I really like that. Um, uh, some bits of it were a bit better than episode one. Again, the dialogue is just a bit off. It's a bit like cringy, a bit weird sometimes. It's like sometimes the writers are trying to make it sound more sophisticated than it is, so they end up putting in big words or something. Um, and some of the like time periods kind of clash. Like it's I I can't remember what time period this is supposed to be. But it's definitely not like present day, it's kind of like back a few years ago, but they're still saying stuff like epic. Like people didn't really start saying that until like the YouTube years, those kind of things. So, I mean, some things clash, but I really like the game. There's a lot of stuff going on in it and I really like it. Um, I don't really feel like my choices are really matter, matter all that much again. It's like, oh, answer Kate's call. Chloe gets pissed off a little bit, and then Kate mentions it like for like two seconds towards the end, and that's all the consequence that that has. Uh, it doesn't really feel like they have any meaningful difference. Again, unless you can stop her from committing suicide and something else happens, but I really highly doubt that because I don't really see what they'd end the episode on otherwise. And it seems, like I say, in time travel, um, like scenarios, if if you're gonna die, you end up dying. That's just the way it goes. Well, that's the way it is in like popular culture. And all those kind of things. And what time is it now? Good God, it's 3.17 a.m. I'm really glad that I got to play it now, so I can put up the video the day it comes out. Rather than, like, doing it tomorrow, and then, like, having you guys wait a day. Because I know everyone's going to be sending comments to me tomorrow anyway, saying that the episode is out. Um, and I'm sorry to, like, well, I, I shouldn't really be sorry for making people wait for the next episode. It's not my fault if they didn't make the episode. But again, I'm sorry that I didn't say... That it there was a uh, like a wait for the next episode. Um, there there should be a thing at the end of this, at the end of the credits. There was last time when I cut it out. I shouldn't have because I I didn't like talk over it because I, the credits went on forever. Um, so I I try and put it in after this if I don't finish talking. But I, I like this series. I I like the episodes and I'm glad people watch like full two hour episodes. I know a lot of people don't. Some people are saying Jack. I can't watch two hour episodes, sorry, I can't watch this video. Like some people literally said last time that it was all or nothing. They either watched it all completely or they didn't have the time for it so they skipped out in the episode. But I'm really glad, like the last video got like, what, 1.45 million views? Which blew my mind! Like these types of games are not really what the channel is known for. Um, they're kind of like a little like bonus thing for certain people for a certain like side of the channel for certain people who like these kind of things And I'm really glad that a lot more people watched it than I expected because these these kind of series are always a gamble You never know if people are gonna watch them or not because the channel's kind of got a Reputation for being very loud and very bombastic and very like speedily edited and part of that is my fault But I'm really glad that we can slow things down and people still watch them it really makes me feel happy about that kind of stuff. And it keeps me on my toes as well for my editing and for my- or for my commentary. There, there like, a, not a lot of editing goes into these things. Um, like, a lot of time goes in- or a lot of effort goes into, like, keeping my commentary fresh and different. That I can't rely on my editing to fix it. Because a lot of times, when I'm playing games, I rely on my editing to, like, make me sound maybe a bit funnier. Maybe it'll make a scenario sound a bit funnier if I mess up. I can edit it out and then go back to it again and like fix it or whatever. But these kind of episodes really like, just keep me on my toes to keep the channel fresh. And that's what I really like and there's a huge variety of videos on the channel which I'm very very proud of. I said it one time before that if you go to certain people's channels you will see like if you go to their most popular videos you'll go and like you can go to anybody's videos and you'll see like a set pattern for what their videos are if they're montages if they're Five Nights at Freddy's stuff if they're Grand Theft Auto 5 stuff if they're what else Skate 3 stuff those are like my top videos but it's all like none of them follow a pattern it's not all Five Nights at Freddy's it's not all Grand Theft Auto it's not all Skate 3 it's not all what was the other one um Oculus Rift Mirror's Edge it's not all the same thing it's like, they're like, my top five videos are all different ty styles and different types and everything. And I'm really very happy about that. And I, I'm really thankful to you guys for watching such a huge variety of content on this channel. And for being with me and getting in on it every single time. Like, it's not even a case of, I do this video and it doesn't get as many views as something else. It's like a case of me doing a lot of different things and people still watch it wholeheartedly. 
And I'm so thankful for that. You guys are amazing. You guys are seriously one of the best um, communities out there. And I don't say that to blow smoke up your ass to make you guys like to boost your own egos or to like try and make the community sound better than it actually is. I really mean that. And I've had stuff before, like, my- the guys who, like, make my t-shirts and everything, they've come to me before and say- said that you guys are, like, super active and interactive with everything that goes on in the community, and I even see it, like, on Twitter and Facebook and those kind of things, like, you guys are far more active for a channel this size compared to, like, there are some channels who are, like, like, twice the size, three times the size, four times the size of this one, and you guys, like, blow them out of the water for interactivity, like, Talking back to me in comments on Twitter, on Tumblr, on Facebook, those kind of things. You guys are super active. And that's really what I like. That's what I always try and encourage with you guys. Um, this seems to be wrapping up now, which is a good thing, because I'm almost done talking. Um, you guys, like, you really get on board with a lot of stuff that I'm saying, and I always say, like, how I'm... I'm happy about interacting with you guys all the time, and you guys really do go above and beyond the Call of Duty to do your part for the channel. I'm super happy about that. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll wait till the end of this now. Usually these copyright things are at the end. I can skip. Let's see, I don't want to skip unless it skips the thing at the end, because it'll tell you, like, the people's choices, like the way The Walking Dead does. Um, thanks to our playtesters. To all our partners, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, relatives, children. Okay. Don't Nodders. What? Oh, is that the team who makes the game? Hope you guys enjoyed watching this, by the way. Hope it was, it was like, I hope you enjoyed it as much as episode one. Um, you, you are gonna have to wait a while. It'll show what's gonna happen in episode three anyway. There'll be a, like, next time. Oh, okay, here we go. You told Kate to go to the police. Oh. You told Kate to wait for more proof. 64% of people did what I did. You answered Kate's call, 77% of people agreed with me, 63% of people tried to shoot Frank. You can save her! And 57% of people saved her! Oh no! So then what was all the thing at the end then? What happens? 84% of people blame Nathan anyway. Fuck! Well, I mean, it's good for the sake of a series. I mean, I know some of you who watch these types of series are going to be pissed off that I didn't save her or try to save her or anything. I know I'm probably going to get shit for that. Now, the fact that people know that I could have saved her. I'm really sorry. I didn't know I could. I, you saw me. I tried. I really did try, and I was pissed off that I didn't at the end. And I couldn't rewind because the game took away my power just at that moment. But, I mean, for the sake of YouTubing... It's good. And for the sake of your own playthroughs, it's good. Because now some of you can go off and like watch somebody else save her. You can see a different scenario on somebody else's channel. Or you can go and play the game yourself and make your own decisions and save her yourself. Which is really good because I always say that a let's play shouldn't show you every single tiny detail of a game. That you should have some incentive to go off and play it yourself. So I'm glad there is some incentive there. Uh, next. Oh. What? What the fuck is all this? 17%. You watered your plant. There was, oh, there's a plant in my room that I could have watered and I didn't? Fuck. You helped Alyssa. Yeah. You erased the ink. 91% of people erased the ink, which is normal to do. Wow. 50-50. Right down the middle. You accepted Warren's invitation. 66%. You didn't write a message. Oh. What? I did write a message. You saw me write Max was here. I didn't rewind time past that today. Oh, I did. When I went to the campfire. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Um, you didn't tamper with the rail tracks, but you kind of had to, to save her. You didn't gain entry. Okay. You told on D David Jefferson, David to Mr. Jefferson. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, exit. This is next time, by the way. Wow, you really gave us a lot to go on, didn't you? Fucking hell, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face, like a boss, and high fives all round. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes next video. Get in there, bro. Get in there, bro. Oh. 
<laughs> Episode three, chaos theory. That what they they say. Like anything that can happen will happen or shit happens. 